I did it again, y'all. I was up looking at these sinkholes in China. YouTube, you guessed it. And I really feel like some stuff just need to be left alone. I said that about the Mount Everest video. Why is y'all exploring this? It's y'all cracking into the parallel universe. If it's a hole, it's what, 430 feet sinkhole with trees and all this um, overgrown um, grass underneath and all this stuff. And they going down there explore, exploring, talking about, oh, we found some more pieces of the universe. Let's go down and explore. You mean let's go down and ruin a natural habitat? Because that's what y'all going to do. Talking about scientists have discovered. How y'all discovered something that's already there? You never discovered any fucking thing. Nothing is new on the earth for you to be discovering. Here y'all go. The white man trying to go down there again. Pull up some shit, and then we're going to have another outbreak of some other shit. Or, you know, who knows what's going to happen, but some stuff just need to be left alone. Y'all trying to go in there, disrupt the ecosystem for some science. Talking about, we need to find out more. We need to know what's in there. No, you don't. You don't need to know what's in that sinkhole. Leave nature alone. That's people's problem now. I always want to investigate and go look around. And then when all the explorers be dead, because the acidity or whatever else, the air, who knows? Then what? They're not going to say nothing about that. Y'all not going to hear nothing about that. But I just feel like, no, that's cracking into the parallel universe. I told y'all it was out there. It's out there. That shit just let you know that it's way more, like, way more than you could ever imagine in this world. But I don't agree that they need to be going down there testing. Talking about, it might be other species that we thought was lost forever. You never knew about these species, so how you thought they was lost forever? You never knew about the sinkhole, so why must you go in there and find answers? You don't have to do that. Some stuff just don't have answers. Just admire the beauty of it and leave it alone. Like, they ready to go move down there. These people crazy. But I think that is very interesting that, um they had it's a it's a sinkhole and apparently trying to have a few sinkholes like every few years they find another one and um and they going down there looking around we'll never hear about those people that disappeared they in china they they will never hear about that but i don't think they should be messing with that stuff i think they should just leave it alone and let nature be nature. What do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like they should ha let people go down and explore so we can learn more about it? All they're going to do is lie and tell us what they want us to know. It ain't like we going to know the truth anyway. Or do y'all think they should leave it alone? Comment below. Y'all never be commenting. I guess I don't be asking y'all no questions. But I'm asking now. What do y'all feel? Leave alone or go exp go let the white man explore and ruin another natural part of nature what do y'all think comments below comments below i said comments below my hair is growing y'all see it y'all see them curls it's growing though the same stuff i used on my waves it's the same it's the same gel aunt jackie's that I use on my curls. And your curls will be popping. With limited greasy residue. Because the other stuff that I use had greasy residue. And my hands would be sticky. My forehead would be sticky. I ain't with all that. Just for a couple of curls. Oh, what it do, everybody. Nobody else going to work. Can't wait.
wait till I'm not working and I'm prospering off of YouTube. But even like regular people on YouTube, like nobody's ever, ever, ever. But it's Tuesday, I'm on my way. You already know. Your girl in the good mood. I've been thinking lately and I really feel like we need to start surprising ourselves like doing stuff that's something you wouldn't normally do to kind of shake up the little to shake up your perspective a little bit because I feel like your perspective okay that's a person on the side of the road okay okay and this car on my ass you could go around buddy it's always be happening but um, your perspective really be like shaping your life. And that's all, the, you know, that's what it all boils down to. It's like, if you feel like, damn, man, why is shit always happening to me? Shit be happening to you. Like, just jerk off my ass. <laughs> shit really start happening to you. Like, you be a magnet for those things because that's your perception. So you be a magnet towards for this negative shit or this positive shit to happen in your life. So that's why shit really be kind of predestined because uh, it all comes down to your percep perception, perspective. I don't know. Do they mean the same thing? Because what's your percept what's your perspective on this? It's your it's how you perceiving it and what do you, I don't know. I think they the same, they kinda of the same. But really your how you perceive things is like or your you know your perspective. Your perspective on life. Whether you feel like it's negative or positive, those things come to you. Kinda of like when they say whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. It's kind of like that, like. So your world and your life be pretty much already kind of mapped out based off of that. Based off of how you will react in situations. But I really feel like your perspective on life is really, it be shaping your shit. So your life be pretty much already mapped out. And that's why I said we got to start surprising ourselves a little bit doing some shit that's not in the norm for us to kind of shake up our shake up our timeline a little bit like really like kind of like when I first decided to do mushrooms I don't even know where the thought came from I've never thought about mushrooms I don't like regular mushrooms unlike food like, I never knew anything about it. Like, at all. And um, I can't even remember how it came to me. But I started, something might have popped up on my YouTube or something. And I just went down that rabbit hole, kind of like I do with everything else. With the Mount Everest and the cave diving and random shit. I be looking at um yeah that never was like something that was in my life at all and when I decided to do them that just pretty much shook up my whole world that shook up my whole world and changed I know it changed the trajectory of where my life was headed like just lost, not even knowing where to start and just confused on a lot of stuff. Faith, everything. Just confused, man. And I'm telling y'all, that shit changed my life. Every thought that I have, everything that I do, it's like, couldn't even, I honestly can't even remember Cause I just was so jumbled up in my brain. Like, who am I? Just here every day waking up. And like, 
the new perception that I have and the things that I want to learn and grow and it's just a whole different person. And I see that my life is going to be headed in a different direction now because I shook it up. I didn't go with the plan. Whatever my shit was, you know what I mean? A negative fucking Nancy. A negative Nancy. And I'm so conscious of the things that I say. Like, and I just hear it in other people. And it kind of feel like a poison to me. Like, it just feel like a poison. Like, I can't, I don't feel comfortable just being on the phone or whatever just not talking about gold not doing something with my life it's just kind of irritating to me now if it really don't concern me it just don't matter like I, I don't have any say so on that you know what I mean that's what I'm working on because really when you have an opinion on something first of all that nobody asked for it's one thing then I had to think that's me when we be talking. I don't think they do. I don't know. So I'm like, I really don't want to be doing that. Nobody asked for that. I've been holding my, you know, not saying stuff a lot more. Oh, um, but I just want to completely just be an open vessel that just uh, these energies just go through. I don't want to be attached. I don't want my energy to be attached. Or other people's energy to be attached to me. And by not feeding into the gossip. Or not feeding into. Um, or giving my opinion on something. I'm not absorbing that energy. You know what I mean? So. Just working on that. Y'all already know what time it is, too. It's time to get in this. It's your feet, baby. Okay, moving definitely. Moving over there, okay? Yes, sir. One more lane and I'll be there. This is the time. I'll be hesitating. That's how you... You cannot hesitate in this traffic. If you see an opening, you gotta go. Like you can't be like, mm, maybe I know. You gotta just go like that. Otherwise, opportunity gone. That's why I should have been went over. I'd have been, I'd have been miles away by now. guessing just like I said it's something that you do so that should be mapped out I wasn't meant to be five miles ahead I was meant to be right here just by the decisions that I be making every day 